Hello everyone, I'm Duke James, this is Genoa. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this province and then take these five provinces from Mayapan. And then that'll be two colonial nations. And then I think I should get the Conquest of Paradise CB once colonial nations form. And I think that CB has less aggressive expansion. I think that's the better play than using this CB because the CB is 100% aggressive expansion. So it's going to be a lot of aggressive a lot of aggressive expansion. Because just taking three provinces from these guys, from this guy, that's 98 aggressive expansion with this CB. So I'm going to see if I can get that conquest of paradise. I'm I think you need a colonial nation in order to get that. So we'll just take this province. At the very least, these two provinces are worth the... They have the same development as this province, so it'll be the same as taking these two provinces will be the same aggressive expansion as taking this one province. But these three provinces will form the colonial nation. Probably just have to bring more troops over though, but I'll have the added benefit of being able to have my troops actually over here and I won't have to land them through the water. My pan's allied with Itza. I don't know where Itza is. I think somewhere over here. We're right here, maybe? I think that's a different country. Anyway, that's that. That's Mexico. So I wanted to attack the Mamluks. Policy towards our native neighbors. At our borders, there's a nation of natives. What shall we do with them? Mame. So I like the ally with option, but I'm not sure. I'll go ahead with trade with. It's a. Uh... Yes, yeah, so if they border me, then they have to be this country right here, which means they have like uh, two or three provinces. So they can't have that many troops, right? They'll probably have like 30,000 troops. Let's move these guys. To somewhere. I don't know if this is actually going to make me ally them, but I guess I could just break it, so... Yeah, I didn't actually ally them. Okay. It's weird phrasing. Would have been kind of weird if I allied them through a decision. So I can rival the Ottomans, but I can't rival the Mamluks. Pretty sure the Mamluks have more development than the Ottomans. Yeah, by like four times. They have like four times as much, so I imagine if I wait, I should be able to rival the Mamluks. 
and then I'll attack them for ducats. Delicious ducats. The CB on Arborea is coming along, although it was found out. So I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Got a lot of light ships coming. Some buildings. So if you're not aware, I want to attack Arborea to call in France. So I can attack Portugal because France is allied to Portugal. And Arborea is a nice one province target that's allied with... Actually, they're allied with Sicily. Probably just take out Sicily then. Papal State only has one province. They got a couple provinces, but they're pretty far away from my my provinces, except for Venizzi, Venisi, which is bordered with France. So they're probably not going to be a problem. The uh, Castilians have slowly lost all of their North African territory. Because Spain Castile sucks. Hungary announced me as their rival. Hungary announced me as a rival. Come on, Mamlux, announce me as your rival. I'm a good rival to have. We can uh, like fight each other and stuff. See, they're afraid. They know that I'm just gonna destroy Cairo. Uh, the inner circle lose five Republican tradition. Guilds gain eight influence or lose fifty admin. Let's go ahead and do. When's the next election? This guy's 60. So I'll probably get a new guy. Just because he's so old, he's probably going to die before the next election. The next election is actually October 4th. But I, he's I'm not going to keep him anyway, so... Go ahead and do that option. Constantinople. Liguria has 82 developments. Proenza has 46. Constantinople has 61. Palermo, 47. They have 60, 30,000 urban pops. I should build in Palermo. This is a good, it's a good province with a lot, a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but Decent amount of rural pops. Why is there so many? Alright, somebody explain this to me. There's no mine in Palermo. There's uh, 150,000 rural pop, but there's 39 rural developments. Why 
why is there so much rural development in this province? Because then you look at like Proenza. And there's 250,000 rural pop, but then there's only 22 rural developments. Generally, mines will produce a lot of rural development. But there's no mines in Palermo. doesn't really have different buildings than Proenza, just less buildings. It's weird. Maybe farming efficiency? It does have better farming efficiency. But then Liguria has the same general area amounts of farming efficiency, like 3% less farming efficiency. And Liguria still has 77,000 rural pop more, and only 18 rural development. Hmm. Guess that's just one of those weird things, maybe? I don't know. Those, uh, internal calculations I'm not entirely sure about. Fruity liqueur. I don't think I really need claims over here. I just need to conquer. All right, there's uh, Conquest of Paradise, and Conquest of Paradise is 200% aggressive expansion. So that's not gonna work either. Huh. I guess I'll just have to conquer them using Colonial Conquest and then just get have them get claims. I'm not sure who has anybody ever used Conquest of Paradise CBs in a situation where you're not like conquering one province and everybody else is gone over here? Because it the problem with this is if it's 200% aggressive expansion, it'd be fine for the most part if it's just localized. But I'm going to get aggressive expansion with like the Mamluks for conquering provinces over here, so it's not worthwhile getting double the aggressive expansion. It's a weird CB. Let's do bureaucrats. Four, three, one. Okay. Come on, man, looks. If I can rival the Ottomans, I can rival the Mamluks. Over my, uh... Diplomatic relations. I rivaled Ancona because I was thinking I was going to get trade power from them, but I don't want to collect in two nodes, so I'm thinking... Just abandon that alliance. If I can't fight the Mamluks, the next thing I'm going to do is fight the uh, Portuguese.
get all these ships together. Got a lot coming in 11 days. Spain is colonizing. Just in Africa for now. They might have to wait till this, uh, this province. Although, if they could get over here, that's probably too far to go over here. More ships. Those are always nice. Except when you are you don't have the wood to support those ships. And you get, uh, where is it? There's too many modifiers here. Importation of timber seven, which actually isn't really that bad. 20% naval maintenance modifier, tax income negative 16, which is practically nothing. That merchant is what hurts the most. have 10 of these ships protect trade send them to Iberia for now and the other ones can go thinking about privateering the Northwest Atlantic, but I'm pretty sure that's going to make France mad. So I don't think I want to do that. Set them to the Aegean for now, see what happens. I don't think that's going to do anything. There's six ducats here. Should send them to the Egyptian trade node. That would probably do more. Just gotta put these fleets somewhere until I can get to India and then have them transfer from India. And this pathway from India all the way to the Terranium. All right, so I'm gonna end this part here and then I'll get that claim on Arborea so I can start conquering Portugal. So uh, I will see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.